Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's the latest animated feature from Disney that came out on March 4th, 2016, which is a surprisingly box office smash, and it's already getting a positive feedback on Rotten Tomatoes, earning a certified fresh, called Zootopia. A story about a rabbit who wants to become a police officer working at the apartment in a city called Zootopia. It stars Jennifer Goodwin, who has been best known for playing Snow White in Once Upon a Time, Jason Bateman, Aris Alba, J.K. Simmons, Jenny Slate, Tommy Chong, the known for Cheese and Chong, Octavia Spencer, and the Latin sensation Shakira. It's written by Jared Bush and Phil Johnston, and it's directed by Brian Howard and Rich Moore. The movie began in the world that's being overpopulated by anthropomorphic mammals. We meet a rabbit from a farm town called Bunny Burrow named Judy Hobbs, who fulfills her lifelong dreams of becoming a police officer in a police department that's located in a huge city called Zootopia. And while she just graduated from police academy, she's very excited by handling all the top priority cases and all the other crimes that she wanted to solve. But instead, a Cape Buffalo named Chief Bogo had assigned her to do parking duty instead, which she's now a meter maid sending out all these parking tickets that cost $25 to pay up. Yeah, which doubles it up to over $200. During one of her shifts, she meets a hustler who's a fox named Nick Wilde, along with his partner Finnick, who's a bat. You know, they became the partners of crime just when he was about to um, go to a local ice cream shop just to get a giant red popsicle, which uh, Judy had decided to, to pay up, you know, just to help them out because they didn't have enough money to do so. Anyway, it turns out that they decided to um, use the giant red popsicle stick to actually uh, sell more popsicle sticks in order for them to get more money. So that's how Judy had became more suspicious what Nick was doing. And he, yep, and he's been doing his scheme since he was young. Anyway, the next day, Judy had once up abandoning her ship to arrest a thief named Duke Weaselton, who just stole a bunch of onion bulbs at a local market. And while Mrs. Auditon had arrived at his office pleading that her husband was missing, Judy decided to volunteer while Assistant Mayor Betty Weather had warned Mayor Lionheart the news that he's, that Judy's going to take the job. And Bogo reluctantly agrees to give her 48 hours to solve the case. But then she tracks Nick down and blackmails him by assisting her with the investigation covering his confession that, he, that she just recorded from a carrot pen. So then Judy and Nick decided to trace Allerton's limousine license plate number to Tundra Town where they meet a crime boss named Mr. Big by informing them that that Allerton, who was his florist, had gone savage and attacked his chauffeur Minichas. And while Judy and Nick had located him, he mentions that, that the night haulers were responsible to to what happened to all the tin and all the rest of the missing mammals that was held inside a facility filled with other mammals that turned out they came from from prey to predator. So even though Manchas actually attacks um, Judy and Nick all around the jungles, yep, Judy had calls uh, the Zootopia Police Department for help. But unfortunately, since Judy was almost about to give uh, Bogo the badge, Nick defends Judy and, and decided to 
to keep the case going for 10 more hours. So that way they could finally solve the case on the missing mammals. So that's what the film's about, and I really enjoyed it. It's definitely the best animated feature by far. I didn't expect it as much because I was almost going to dismiss this as just another generic animated feature like Home of the Range, Chicken Little, and The Wild, and to the extent even Bolt, which I didn't care for either. Yeah, all of which were just totally forgettable films that Disney had came up with. And I know they already had the first two Planes films that were already forgotten. It was trying to be more like Cars. And that didn't work. But I'm so glad it didn't fall for that category because it was a much different film. I mean, despite the fact that it was all too modernized, it focused on today's technology. You know, like cell phones, laptops... <laughs> you know, high definition TVs and all this other stuff that they have in the mix. Yeah, they even have other stores like there was a parody of Target and I think there was Gap and all this other stuff that they had. So, <laughs> but um, they had some great um, pop culture references, mostly from other movies that we're familiar with, like The Godfather. I thought that worked. They even got a Latin pop singer named Gazelle, who was voiced by none other than Shakira. And she had a song called Try Everything, and I really enjoy that song too. I, I love Shakira. You know, she's a Colombian born Latin singer who actually been best known for singing a lot of those rock songs uh, back in the 90s when she had that whole different image. You know, she was a brunette. Sometimes she even. Uh, had some red highlights. Yeah, before she wants up dyeing her entire hair, you know, blonde. You know, creating a whole new image of her, becoming like um, some ordinary pop singer. But except she does a lot of belly dancing, and um, yeah, all, all these hip shaking moves and everything that she does. Yeah, and it worked. I mean, she's actually playing a. Uh, <laughs> A Shakira type of character named Gazelle uh, as a giraffe, you know, just dressing up like Shakira. You're doing all these hip shaking moves, belly dancing. And I know they started showing all these uh, video apps of, of one of the officers, you know, watching the video. <laughs> and they're just joining in along with it. She's also the tour guide to Zootopia. So that, that worked. I like that. I also love the characters that we had, like Judy Hobbs, who's um, a tough police officer, who's a rabbit. And I know they were going for this whole theories thing, you know, because I know they also have foxes too. But I don't know, I, it, it was, I mean, the whole furry be, between furries and, uh, and other animals, but I don't know, I, I thought it was cute that they used a, a rabbit to play a police... I thought it was cute to have a female rabbit as a police officer, you know, trying to to do the job and, you know, she really wanted to become a police officer, no doubt. You know, just solve cases instead of having to work as a meter maid. And you got Nick Wilde, you know, as a fox, you know, he just goes around, you know, you know, making more money so that way, you know, he'll be earning to so that way he could be rich or so. But of course, you know, he's already having, you know, tax evasion and all that going <laughs> going around. And I know he's almost going to get caught by Judy. So so Judy's trying to help him so he won't, uh, he won't get arrested. And, I, and the fact that they're now going to be considered to be working as a team, as partners. So there you go. <laughs> They had some other good characters too, um, such as uh, Yox. You know, it was a Yox that that does all of his meditation at a, at a naturalist's club called Mystic Springs Oasis. You know, all these with all these uh, <laughs> flies all around his face. Yep, Tommy Chun, of course, is the voice of the character, and I mean, he almost pretty much sounds like his uh, Chong character. <laughs> And Cheese and Sean, right there. So it was nice to hear his voice. And plus, they got other actors too. I mean, 
Uh, besides, um, you know, Jennifer Goodwin and Jason Bateman as Judy Hobbs and, and Nick Wilde, we, we got uh, we, we got Riss Alba as Chief Bogo, who's, who's a Cape Buffalo, you know, the chief of, of the Zootopia Police Department. And we got uh, J.K. Simmons as Leonard Leinhart, you know, who's, who's the mayor of Zootopia, very noble. Yeah, we also got Bonnie Hunt as Judy Hobbs' mother, Bonnie. You know, along, with his, his, along with her father, Stu, voiced by Don Lake. You got Alan Tyke, been known for doing uh, his role in Frozen and Big Hero 6. He, he was good, playing the Duke Weaselton. Um, yeah, there are a lot of actors in this movie, too. Yeah. Providing the voices, so it was really cool. And so you got a lot of you know zoom animals actually just going around, you know, <laughs> living in a big town close to Topia, just doing what they do best, <laughs> and it worked. So, no wonder everybody loved this film, and I love it too. I, I love the soundtrack that was done by the by the composer Michael Chachino been known for doing a lot of composing in other films, but he did a great job. And once again, Try Everything by Shakira, it totally works. I thought, you know, this is a whole standard uh, animated feature that works and has a great story. I mean, despite the fact that it does have some cliches in the film, like, you know, they were going to go for the whole unbelievable truth, I knew they were going to do this, like they often do. And all these other, and all these other, um, and all these other plot elements that's gonna turn out at the end, but uh, but best not to explain it. So. But I'll give you this though. It's definitely um, the movie that's. But I'll give you this. It's the film that's definitely worth watching. I mean, it, if you haven't seen this movie, check it out. I definitely recommend it. So I give Zootopia five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.